Hi, my name is Matthew Belisario. Welcome to the Belisario Sonic YouTube channel. Today, I just wanted to do a quick album review of Lee Morgan's Cornbread. Fantastic hard bop album that has now been put back into pressing. This was a 2019 release, but they've done another run of them this year. So I miss it first time around and just picked this up because they're probably gonna be gone again soon. Um, one of my favorite trumpet players, classic hard bop record. Um, leave your comments if you've got this album and let me know what you think about it. Um, this really is an interesting album. First of all, it's an all-star lineup on here. Of course, Blue Note had such great lineup of, of musicians that all shared, on, you know, played on each other's albums. This is a Blue Note tone poet, so it is a gatefold with some great pictures, like all their tone poets, or most of their tone poets are, uh, are gatefolds, or a few that are not. Um, but this album is interesting because it comes along at a busy time for, for Lee in the studio. Um, this album was recorded in 1965 and released in early 1967. And it's a really busy period of time for Lee Morgan in the studio. He had a big hit with Sidewinder in 1963 and that song really put him on the map. It was used in television commercials, very popular, made Lee Morgan very popular, made Blue Note and him some money. And um, from that period on of 1964, especially all the way through 67, he was in the studio quite a bit. Um, so you had Side Sidewinder in 63, 64, he's in the studio twice with Search for a New Land and Tomcat. Uh, Search for a New Land released in 66, although it was recorded in 64. Tomcat not released until after he was dead in 1980. Now, unfortunately, Lee Morgan, one of the great hard bop trumpet players, was killed on the bandstand in 1972 in New York City. If you haven't seen the uh, documentary called I Called Him Morgan, I do recommend checking that out. Very sad. During a snowstorm on the bandstand, ambulances can't get to him fast enough. Otherwise, he may still be with us or would have surely lived a lot longer. Um, so you have Rump Roller in uh, 1965, the Gigolo Cornbread also in 65, although this would not be released until 67. Infinity also recorded in 65, but would not come out until 81. 1966 sees three recordings, Delightfully, Charisma, the Raja, which would not come out until 85. Uh, 67 sees him in the studio four times with Standard, Sonic Boom, The Procrastinator, and The Sixth Sense. Uh, those not being released until later after his death, except for The Sixth Sense, which was released in 70. So a lot of material recorded in the studio between 63 and 67. Um, all Blue Note recordings. On here, Five tunes, four of them are Morgan compositions. One of them becomes a standard called Siora, which is a ballad. The first side is higher intensity, hard bop. You can hear here, cornbread, our man Higgins. So side one's pretty hot. Some pretty intense uh, upbeat tunes. Siora and Ill Wind are both ballads. And then you have a mid-tempo tune to close out the album called Most Like Lee. But what makes this really an interesting album as well is the lineup. You've got, of course, Lee Morgan on trumpet, but you've got the great Jackie McLean on the alto. Hank Mobley, a legend on the tenor. Of course, Herbie Hancock, not, not much needs to be said about him. He's on the piano. Larry Ridley on a lot of recordings, bass player, and the great Billy Higgins on drums. So you've got a spectacular lineup, some great playing. They do get a chance to stretch out. You've got, you know, nine minute tunes, eight minute tunes, six minutes, seven minutes. So it's enough time for, for some great playing, some great improvisation. Um, I do recommend you get your hands on this. Fantastic Blue Note Tone Poet release. I've been impressed with all of their Tone Poets and Classic Series releases. And this is no exception. I'm glad I was able to get my hands on it. So I just want to put this out there for you all. Just as a quick video to let you know about it, it is back in print. So if you're into Lee Morgan, you're into Hard Bop, I do recommend getting your hands on this record. Again, leave me your comments. Love to hear your thoughts. What's your favorite Lee Morgan album? He's got tons of great albums 
all the way starting out with his first album in 1956 for Blue Note called Lee Morgan Indeed. He had a couple of uh, records with some other labels, including Savoy, Specialty, and VJ, and uh, I think one for Jazzland as well. Um, but most of his recordings would be for Blue Note. So uh, a lot of great uh, recordings with Blue Note, including The Cooker, Candy, um, Leeway, another fantastic album for Blue Note. So anyways, just wanted to throw this video out there for you guys just to let you know this is back if you didn't get it first time around. This is a chance for you to pick it up. Lee Morgan, Cornbread. All right, we'll talk to you later. Take care. Happy listening.